First, you need to drag the effect and place it where you want to use it. You will see many options in it. Now I will explain what each one does. This is the opacity of the effect on the clip. You can select any color you want to have. This manages the softness of the tone, how sensitive it is to light. You can change the background color to transparent, or another color you want. By default I set it to black. You can change the color limits, making it smaller or larger. This controls the delay effect, whether you want it off or toggle between the three predefined states. And you can blur it. Use the same border color as the entered color, or you can change it to another. You can change the intensity, strength, and glow of the edge. You can make its intensity dynamic by controlling its speed easily. Also synchronize them with the BPM. When synchronized with BPM, the previously set speed is disabled. If you deactivate the dynamic option, it will no longer be dynamic and will no longer react to the BPM. At the end, you will find the strobe, which interacts with the base color of the clip. You can cut or fade it, regulate its intensity, or also synchronize it with the BPM of the composition.